hey everyone thank you so much for coming to my youtube channel um yeah today i want to show you how i clean my backdrops so the first thing i do is i select subject i try to eliminate like to remove the subject of the image before i start working on the backdrop so that i don't do anything to harm it so when i use the select subject uh, tool in uh, photoshop if i want to add any part of it i could just use the you know selection tool to add holding shift down and yeah so when i finish doing that i click command j or control j if you're using a windows to separate that selection from the rest of the image so it creates a new layer with that selection now after doing that i do the same thing again but then reverse it so i separate the backdrop this time if that makes any sense so i separate the backdrop again from the uh, the same way I did the subject, I do the same thing for the backdrop. So I have two extra layers now, one with just the subject and one with the background layer. If, for example, the, this image, the floor is different from the backdrop and I want the floor to, to keep its original texture. So to do that, I separate it first before I go ahead and adjust the backdrop. So after I've done selecting the background and making sure I have a copy of the background, a copy of the subject separate from the main picture. I then go to that background selection and click on blur, filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur. What I'm trying to do is to remove the textures from the background, especially when you work with seamless backdrops. You want to make sure that your backdrop is as clean and seamless as possible. So this is what we're doing here. So it's very simple use the Gaussian blur to remove the textures so once you're done with that you can see what the effect it has it just you know, makes it smooth and clean and like there's no issues again so uh, so if you notice that there are some you know places that it misses out on you can use your patch tool to select the areas that have issues and just use that to clean them up you know sample areas that are cleaner and then work with them and then at, as if I, on the final note you can use your mixer brush to just even out the transitions between you know the places that have issues and the places that don't and voila that's as simple and easy as it gets of course use the patch tool to remove any um, parts of the image that do not fit in or that do not fall easily as well that's what i'm doing here right now and yeah of course so whenever you use the blur tool it eliminates all the textures on that layer so what i like to do is have i have multiple textures i'm going to sh probably share a link below where i give people textures on how to get you know that paper textures after um cleaning up the backdrop so that you can still have some you know texture in your backdrop after you're done cleaning it up so I, I take some of those textures and then add it on a new layer and then use and then blend it so i usually use overlay or multiply to make sure that i get the consistent feel or you know opacity and, and feel adjustment so when i'm done with that merge then to adjust for you know four by five that is the standard size and you know dimension for instagram i just expand the backdrop using the crop tool and then when i expand it i then select the excess parts and very simply press delete and because you're on the lock layer it's going to sample the parts of the image that you've been working with and yeah that's it see it's the four by five you don't have to add like you know white squares or black squares on either side of the image and there you have it very simple very short very straightforward how i clean my backdrops in photoshop so if you have any other questions please ask them below so i can treat them in my next youtube video thank you for watching please share subscribe like and comment below on what you think Till next time, it's Lexash. Like